Alan and his higher self are one. We are <clears> one. Very good. I'm very happy to be speaking with you today. Alan has brought some questions today that he wants to know the answers to. Is there anything that you have to say right now to Alan first? Well done. He has been on a long journey. He has progressed so far in such a short time and we are all happy with him. He is becoming us and we are him embodied together in the new paradigm to come. Very good. He has some questions that he wanted to ask. Are you able to answer yes. these questions today? Yes. Very good. Very good. He has some questions about some people on earth called the non NCPs, NPCs. Do you know who I'm speaking about? Yes, solar sensitivities, yes. And he has some questions about why these entities are here, why these beings are here. They are necessary for uh, humans' journeys on, on planet Earth. They could not have had the experiences and experienced the growth they have had without the NPCs. Mm -hmm. Most people think NPCs are bad, evil. Some say created by the dark, but we see this <coughs> from a higher perspective. Mm -hmm. And the perspective being that in the greatest plan of all, from the highest perspective, they are needed. They serve a purpose. And the purpose was to put humanity through the journeys they have had, all the journeys they agreed to before they came even into existence as a soul, they knew they was going to come to Earth and to experience Earth in all its splendor and to take great advantage of the splendor is in from a growth perspective, not from the beauty of the planet, but from the splendor of the duality. NPCs have played a vital part in that. However, they have gone out of control to a degree. They have gone beyond contracts which were made for the NPCs. And the dark has created too many NPCs, which is changing or attempting to change the timelines of mankind. But Prime Creator sees this and has set things in motion. And things have happened already, but need to play out in the physical realm for humanity to experience. And everything will be back and is back on track. Are these um, NPCs the ones that have decided to follow the so-called rules or on the 3D plane, wearing the masks and having the vaxes, would these be? Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. Not not all people <laughs> that follow the, all the, tech, the jabs and masks and any other orders from the brainwashing they suffer, not all you don't have to be your NPC mm -hmm. to fall for the, all, all the brainwashing, but the vast mm -hmm. majority of the people that have done that are the NPCs. 
this has caused too many of the organic souls to fall for the lies of the cabal and the controlling entities because they see everyone around them doing what they want. So the weaker minded, less connected to source creator beings follow the crowd for a want of a better expression. This is why the dark created too many NPCs because they knew through past incarnations on other realms that people follow the majority, but not everyone does. How many NPCs are there? I mean, what's the percentage or the number on Earth now? Can you tell us that? At this present moment, it is extremely high. Mm -hmm. It fluctuates between 70 and 80%. Whoa, that's very high. So you're saying between 70 and 80% of the population are the NPCs? Of different varying degrees. Some, um, most NPCs are as you would say, clones of a sort. They are born through normal relations with organic beings, mm -hmm. but they produce beings without a connection to prime creator. Right, they don't have like the spark of source within them? They're, they, do not have the, they do not have the connection to source. Is it possible to... I don't know what the word would be, develop or that spark could be placed. Yes. It yes. Is? Yes. Whoa. Some, <clears throat> some NPCs, not all NPCs are the same. It's a very complex situation. Some people come into this realm, as in the Earth 3D experience, and actually come in as an NPC, but with a hidden spark to source, what they can then reignite. These are the most difficult incarnations to have and are quite rare. Most vast majority of NPCs are just no connection to source, just like a computer program being influenced by all control mechanisms, radio, TV, music, anything that the Cabal puts out, they are very susceptible to that programming. However, the ones that have chose to come here and have an experience as an NPC, they are the ones that can reconnect to Source and will reconnect and are reconnecting to Source. I see. Um, it's a bit complicated. Um... Is there some way that we can be of service to help them reconnect to source the ones that are able to do that? In the long run, the NPCs which have agreed to come here and secretly have a connection to source, they will reconnect to source. Just as the sleeping masses who are just organic and asleep will. So no more extra work needs to be done. Just carry on the work that you and Alan are doing, which is very important in this aspect of waking up and hiring up the frequencies of every being on the planet. I see. I was hoping you were going to say we would be able to help <clears throat> with the... Um ability to connect, reconnect, but I guess we are doing that uh, now. That's what you're saying? Yes. <clears throat> Alan and you are very important parts on this particular journey of Gaia, Mother Earth. What you do in your realms in meditation is making a difference and is hiring the frequency. Other people are doing this work on Earth, but in different ways 
all part of a bigger picture, all coming together with the same prime creator goal to reconnect back to God. And is it necessary that we find other people to help us to do this? Or is it fine? <laughs> this is happening automatically. When you and Alan do your work and you connect with others, higher selves, this is all that is needed. For when people are ready to reconnect, they will just tap into this broadcast from you and Alan and from Source. Mm -hmm. And it will happen automatically. Oh, very good. No need to do any more than what you are doing. Just mm -hmm. do not have to strive, always striving. Do not have to strive to do more. Just do as yeah. you are. Yes, that's sort of human nature, isn't it? To want to do more and more. <clears throat> Alan is coming to the conclusion, though, that he is doing what he needs to do. Mm -hmm. He has stopped striving for the next thing, which Very is good. good. Yes. Um, <clears throat> and these healings that we do, the ones I know you've spoken very, that we are really <clears throat> helping humanity. Is that in the case of the, the VAX um, sessions that we're doing? Yes. You have played an invaluable part in the stopping of the cabal with the vaccination plan. Their plan has been stopped to a point if they would have had their way virtually all humanity on a physical level will have ceased to exist but their plan was thwarted by other parties and you and alan doing your vax healing has played a big part in helping the ones what didn't get help and fell for the vax and got the negative entities injected into them. The work you do is very important on a spiritual entity attachment level from the results of the vax. The physical healings that happen in i.e. the things that happen to people, the heart attacks, they can be healed by lots and lots of healers mm -hmm. on Gaia. But the type of healing that you and Helen have done is very specific to the technology in the VAX, and you have helped greatly with this. And That's we good to know. You for that. We all thank you for that. Thank you, that. It's our delight to be able to help in any way that we can. I think we, Alan and I, both are pleased that we are helping Mother Gaia and humanity. Does this also apply? We've been doing some work also on a mass scale um, with AI entities and curses and spells and so on and darker forces that we've been doing healings together yes. for this yes that is very important mm -hmm. and the raising of the vibration of the people on the planet is very important you have done much work and completed a lot of work at the moment though you need to move on to a phase of helping Gaia directly connecting with other people. Um, what would that look like? Doing meditations as you and Alan have done before together, calling mm -hmm. in higher selves, but just with the specific purpose of healing the planet on a physical level. 
especially now the cabal in its last throes are doing all they can to poison the planet in an incredible way not in a nuclear war way that will not happen it will never be permitted to happen but all the chemicals that are being released into the air from the planes from all the other evil plans they've got and this on top of all the poisoning what has happened over the past hundred years on purpose by the cabal this is what you need to concentrate and heal mother earth she needs your help she's getting your help mm-hmm. other people on this planet are doing this as well lots of people are clearing energy grids on the planet which is very important that you and alan and others must concentrate on healing the planet on a physical level and you spoke about it as the cabal gets more and more desperate they will do everything they can to kill off Mother Earth. And this will not happen through the work that you, Alan, and others do, even though not seen on a physical realm is incredibly important and must be done and must take priority from now on. Okay, so if I understand this, this is, has to do with the poisons and the. Are you is is there any truth to? They're now uh, reporting apparently train wrecks that are spewing chemicals into the earth and causing harm to the water systems, and I think there's been four of them in the United States. Is is this more what you're speaking when when there's when yes. you're saying the cabal is getting more desperate? Yes. yes. Okay. And and contrary to what a lot of people are being led to believe, the chemtrails in the sky are mm-hmm. not good. They no. are all bad. Right. They are getting worse because, mm-hmm. like I said, the cabal is on it. It knows it knows it's finished, but it just cannot go. It just needs to destroy because it is evil. Mm-hmm. All it knows is evil. All that drives it is evil, and hates creation, hates God's creation. Anything to destroy God in any way, from the smallest child to the biggest planet, anything to destroy. That's all they want. But they will not get their way. We are stronger. That is really good to know. I'm just going to call in um, Archangel Zadkiel uh, because there's some interference, I believe, that um, that's going on here. So I'm asking Zat- Archangel Zadkiel to come in and and to stabilize the connection during this session and to do that now, please. Okay, thank you. Okay, so what I'm hearing is Alan and I can really help Mother Gaia by focusing on um, <clears throat> helping to rid of the um, poisons and the pollutions and what, what has been, what Mother Gaia is is having to deal with she needs some help and we will we will work on that yes well the Gaia is on her own trajectory she has mm-hmm. been paying her own karma when she was first created she was not the planet she is now as your soul was not the soul it is now she acquired karmic debt and agreed to go through this process as part of the bigger plan for Gaia and humans and all other aliens which have interacted on Gaia 
all part of this plan. She agreed and had to go through this karmic debt of this poisoning. But now <laughs> it's time for her to rise. Rise a frequency. All this is done. Mankind and Gaia will rise together. Thank the you. The fifth density. To the fifth density. Okay. Yes. Um, <clears throat> Ellen wants to know, is there only one prime source creator God? What he considers to be prime source creator, as in just one force that's created all creations. Yes, this is true. However, there are other universes what are not visible while in this 3D creation. Other universes of different, total different polarities. They too have their own creator. However, there is only one prime creator. Ah, okay. Um, Prime it... creator created everything. Needed to experience more than just peaceful bliss. So split off sections of himself, herself, and made other creators. These creators then split off and made angels and all other beings splitting off, splitting off fragments of themselves. But in the human conception, just see that prime creator is the creator of all and all other things are from prime creator. Okay. So he, he asked about if there's other prime creator creators in other universes. So I think you've answered that. But other other creators, not other prime, prime creators, just other creators of that universe. Right. Okay. Thank you for clarifying that. He wants to know if our souls return to the prime creator once our journey is complete. And if so, do we lose our individual consciousness? It is impossible to put into words what happens when each fragment of prime source creator goes back after they've gone through their own growth and become at a level which is nearly equal to prime creator. This takes so much time is not the right word it doesn't take time it takes so much experiences so if a soul chooses to cram experiences in it doesn't matter on a time level how long these experiences are they can get to a level where they can assimilate back to prime creator but it is impossible to put into words what is, this is like. For all things are connected. All things are always connected. All things are one. So therefore, it is impossible to lose one's individual consciousness because in reality, it's all one consciousness all the time. It's just when consciousness goes into 3D, it just forgets. Okay. Is this apply with animals, like our animal friends? And... Yes, everything has a consciousness to the smallest subatomic particle everything is part of source everything is connected to source that is why it is possible to create your reality through your thoughts and through spoken words you if you intentionally talk to all 
the atoms and their consciousness and give them a purpose to follow one direction. This is how a reality is created. This is why it is so important for humanity to concentrate on the outcomes of the planet they want, because it is those thoughts of the awakened mm -hmm. one which are so powerful. Mm -hmm. And of course, the cabal or the so-called bad guys, they want fear to be promoted so that people are caught up in that and not focusing on on what the person might want to have for themselves or for Mother Earth. Yes. They're caught up. Yeah. Yes, it, it is so important at this present evolution of humanity. It has never been more crucial than now for people like yourself and Alan and people of this awareness that they have. Their creative ability is so much more powerful than people that are not awake, not connected to God yet. Mm -hmm. So it is so important that people in these areas of consciousness do not concentrate on the negative mm -hmm. do not pay attention to the negative know about the negative know about it don't right. dwell on it right now going back to the npcs um i don't know if i missed this or not these beings do not have the ability to create for themselves because they have no connection many of them only some the, of them the the npcs which are not the ones what came in as an organic but in disguise to have their journey no a true npc does not have no creative abilities however the dark uses them to influence the ones that do have the creative abilities mm -hmm. so if they influence the NPCs, which are so easy because they are like a program in a computer. Mm -hmm. So the cabal tells them what to think via TV, radio, music. They think that. Mm -hmm. If they can then make organic people think that, then that is how the cabal get what they want. But humanity is seen through this. And this is now stopping and coming to an end. This is why the cabal are finished. Their power has gone. Even though there's such a huge proportion of these so-called NPCs versus those that are connected to source irrelevant. and that are awake. It's irrelevant. Irrelevant. 80% of population of the NPC does not have no creative power compared to one God created connected mm -hmm. person. Is it possible for like Alan or myself, for example, to to know who might I mean, we can tell somebody who's in a higher frequency being. Is it possible to tell who's an NPC? Yes. How is that? What does that look like? As humanity's powers come back to them, mm -hmm. as they start to re-remember who they truly are, they will be able to see through the NPCs. You and Alan can do this already. You just need to trust your instinct. Yes. True. Most people that you see on the TV, in movies, the people that are on people's consciousness all the time, most of them are all NPCs. And I was listening to someone who was saying um, that they appear as though they have a so-called so regular life. Um, so they have children or they are their children also NPCs? Yes. 
Yes. Yes, two two NPCs who come together in a relationship and then reproduce. Unfortunately, all offspring are NPCs unless somebody in another realm wishes to come in and have an experience in the 3D and chooses an NPC's body to incarnate mm-hmm. into. This is possible. But this is how the Cabal has created too many NPCs. They have bread and bread and bread spreading mm-hmm. like a what you believe to be a virus. A virus. Mm-hmm. It's sort of mind blowing. That's why I keep coming back to it and asking you about it today. Thank you. No problem. Um, so can you tell us a little bit more about Mother Gaia um, in terms of this ice wall that's around, uh, apparently around Antarctica? Is there an actual um, ice wall that goes around Antarctica? And is there uh, another um, part of Earth that is kept away from most of the humans because you can't fly your planes there it's all very secretive what, yeah, what they, is going the on cabal, there the cabal are the ones who stop humanity basically going anywhere they want the ice wall is just around the parts of the mother earth gaia who where they want you to go. There are vast, vast planes of existence beyond the ice wall. So much so that the Mother Gaia, as you see it in movies, is is so small compared to Mother Gaia in reality. She is yes. so, so big, much bigger. Mm-hmm. Lots of extraterrestrials, as you are programmed to see them as from other planets, are actually from Mother Gaia. Oh. Sorry. Certain percentages of them are from Mother Gaia. So they aren't extraterrestrials. They are just different species. On Earth. Yeah. The part of Earth that we can't, we haven't been al- allowed to to know that's there. Yes. We used to know all these things, but the knowledge was taken from us. How, how was the knowledge taken from us? Dumbed down uh, on an energetic level, on a level of a consciousness, on a density level. But this was all agreed, as I stated before, in a grand scheme of things. It's all part of the growth that all these beings agreed to go through. This is what 3D is all about. It's just one big school, one big lesson, one big playground. Mm -hmm. But the Cabal have taken it too far, gone beyond agreements, Mm -hmm. imprisoned us in around the ice wall, when in reality, it is vast. Thank you. So, of course, we all agreed to come here at this time. True? Yes. Yes. I I have heard um, through someone that Alan and I both watch and listen to that the uh there isn't really a firmament so to speak if there is sort of a um a shield or a, a energy energetic shield around earth um, yes this shield was put around earth just to keep the earth as one biosphere mm-hmm. as in a quarantine field mm-hmm. because outside of planet earth it is not like it is here on an energetic level. Most places are 
fifth density and beautiful, peaceful, cooperative places to be. Planet Gaia Earth decided to house us, like I said earlier, to pay for our own karmic debt from other incarnations before and decided to take on this role and to be subjected to this quarantine. Also, the firmament, as you call it, is just a frequency field. It's not, it's not like a glass ceiling, as some people think. And it, um, I have also heard that in order for other beings, other extraterrestrials, if you want to call them that, can come into Earth, they have to come through like a portal or a wormhole or something. Is that, is that true? Yes. It's true. Yes. Okay. Um, Only beings of a certain frequency and technology is not the real word. It's more of a spiritual technology have the capability to do that. However, the Draco reptilians did have this capability and that's how they have infiltrated and caused the havoc they have with the Cabal. But this has been and is being put in a stop to. Okay. Their time is over. There will be no more, as in they will not have influence over Mother Earth, as we go into a fifth density, they will no longer be here. They will no longer be able to be here. We shall return back to a paradise planet and enjoy many, 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 many years of peace and tranquility. It's very good news to hear. Before that happens, will there be some kind of events or some people are, there's so many people that are still sleeping, if you want to call it that. Um, will there be some events that wake people up? Um, I I the spoke. events are already happening as we speak. Mm -hmm. The more people wake up, the higher the vibration is, the more Gaia raises their density, the more the people raise their density, the, the more quickening it happens. It happens on a, a faster and faster level to the point where a short space of time will occur and the reality on the planet will be absolutely different. So different in such a short space of time. So if you was looking at this from a high perspective, it would be like just a blink of an eye and it will change so quickly. Is there going to be, though, um, upheaval or upset or because that there's a lot of talk about yes. that? D depending on your point of view, people like yourself and Alan will see this for what it is see this as an inevitable end of what has to happen. Unfortunately, the ones what I've chosen not to awaken yet, it will be incredibly traumatic for them. A lot of them may decide to exit and go back to fifth density in an afterlife. Some will struggle, some will lose their mind, some will commit suicide. And for you're talking others, about, sorry. For others, it will happen and they will then see it for what it is and basically go through what a lot of humans have gone through over 20, 30 years. They will go through that in a very short space of time and they will handle it. They will acclimatize and it will be our job. People like yourself, us on this side, influencing and helping people like you and Alan to help these people to acclimatize and go to a fifth density. And when you're talking and about beyond. these people, these people that are, and I was talking about the sleeping people, 
Are you talking about the ones that are, you know, connected to source? Yes. Right. Yes. Some some have agreed to have journeys on Earth where, like I said, I will we go back. When you decide to come to planet Earth and you want your journeys and your experiences, anyone that has come in and is on the planet now knows in advance what's going to happen and chose to be at the level they are at. You and Alan have come from an existence well beyond any of this. And I've been through these growth on other realms and you and others and millions of more have come here just for the sole purpose of helping them. A lot of the people that have not, it is their first time through this ascension of their soul. So they are having to and chosen to go through the most traumatic way of it. Uh, it is their choice. And we're, we can help them when, I guess, things, some kind just of events. By being, or... Just by being there, mm -hmm. you, you can help them, you can calm them, you will be the one with all the knowledge. They will be like sheep lost in a field, and you can be the shepherd gathers them and tells them and educates them and it will not be like it is and has been before these people they'll have raised their density to maybe fourth density so they will listen to what you have to say it will not be like before when you was talking and talking and they they just had a wall up they would not see it now they will see it they will be desperate for knowledge your job will be quite enjoyable. Um, last year when I spoke to Higher Self, I was told that there was going to be so-called fake invasion uh, of aliens. <laughs> and, <laughs> and, and yes, it's fake, though. It wasn't real. Um, and we know that it wouldn't be real. Is that still going to happen? Is that still... <laughs> Yes, mm -hmm. but not to the degree that was foretold for many decades on your earth. If they would, if the cabal would have been at its full power like it was before, they intended to set weapons of mass destruction up in lots of cities around the world, and then just using the channels they have available to them since they controlled them all and then tell people it was an alien invasion and people would have believed it even mm -hmm. the most awakened person apart from a few would have believed it however this was not allowed to take place good operatives in your realm have stopped this happening however they are even now trying to use these methods both people are seeing through it. It is too late. The fake alien invasion, it is too late. They cannot accomplish what they wanted. Only the NPCs will be the ones that fall for it. And they are insignificant because they have no connection. So is it really going to happen? Um, they will like try. Where they, they have the holograms try. and the... They will like... try, but mm -hmm. not like they wanted to try. Right. Not on the scale. It will not be like they created movies and they created huge movies. Mm -hmm. And they wanted people to create that reality. But that is not the case. It will not be like they intended it to be. So this won't be the big scary kind of event that it's... It will be for NPCs, but like I said, they are irrelevant. It makes no difference. Mm -hmm. For the people connected to Source, they will see, as right. they have seen through the jab, as they have seen through COVID. Some mm -hmm. fell for it to start with, but soon realized it was not the case. Mm -hmm. Same will be the same with this. In fact, it will be a source of amusement, hence why I laughed. Yes. 
Is there truth to uh, there's a there's a lot of talk about the banking system and um, the QF QFS system and coming into to play and so on. It, is that going to happen? Is yes. there going to be? Mm -hmm. Yes, very soon, mm -hmm. very very soon. The cabal they would not have been able to do what they did without their fake monetary system without their fake debt system their control would have been impossible mm -hmm. that is changing very soon and will that also cause people to be very upset and chaos and so on or is that once once again the mpcs they will be the ones affected the most but as I've stated, mm -hmm. this is irrelevant. They have no connection. Most people who are awakening now have to go through this transformation with the monetary system. It is part of the programming which has been used so much on this planet. It needs to go away. And it will go away. But things are in place to smooth the transaction. And as time goes by, and density rises, money will no longer be needed. Abundance is always here on the planet. Free energy, free food, free mm -hmm. water, free love. Nothing will cost anything. No money will be needed. But that is for a little bit down the future in your perspective. But for now, this other system will suffice. Very good. Um, <clears throat> you were talking earlier about um, how our food and um, things have been sort of poisons and the chemtrails and so on. Is there something that we can do be like with our food, for example? I mean, I understand it would be better to grow our own food and so on. Sometimes that's not quite possible, at least at, at the time. Is there a prayer? Is there something that can alter because we are creators, those of us who can create our reality? You have answered your own question. <laughs> All right. Yes, yeah. the okay. intention is there. We are creators. Once we understand that, as you and Alan do, you can just bless, put the intention into your food and turn it, like I said earlier, everything, every molecule has a connection to God. It all has mm -hmm. consciousness. Transmute it into the most purest, beautiful form mm -hmm. and your body will take it on as that. Right. Alan has stopped paying attention to chemtrails, for instance, he used to obsess on them. But this mm -hmm. did no good. Once he realized all he was doing was putting his creative powers into the chemtrails. Right. Now he just negates them, even if they exist in his reality for other people. For him, they do nothing. No harm. He transmutes them. Very good. Thank you for that. Okay. Um, is there anything else that you have to tell us today? Uh, anything for Alan or myself or anything that you All like we to... would like to say is thank you to you and Alan for doing what you're doing. Just keep doing what you are now. You are so close to reaching what you see as your destination. In reality, it will just be the start of a new destination. Just carry on doing what you are doing. Mm -hmm. Thank you. And do not concentrate on negative because you are so powerful and the more powerful you are becoming, the more you need to be mindful of what you put your attention on. Keep your vibration, keep your density higher. 
the more higher you keep it, the more that will spread around where you live and the more that will have an effect on other people who in turn will do the same. Concentrate on negativity and all you will create is negativity. True. Thank you for that. Do we have any effect on the NPCs? So those of us who are the creator, the co-creators, those? Aren't the NPCs what have a possibility of reconnecting? Yes, we have an mm -hmm. effect on them. Okay. However, like I said earlier, the vast majority are not. They have no connection. They are just playing a part. Mm -hmm. And they will just cease to exist when we go to the fifth density. Okay, thank you. And are we physically going to go? Or is it energetically? Energetically. Like, right. Energetic. right. We will right. still be in the same space, just a different density. Right. And so we will go to this space and others... We are in that space. It's the density of what will change. The dimension will stay the same. Mm -hmm. The density will rise. Other lower densities will not, cannot, impossible to be in the higher density. So okay. from our perspective, they will just disappear. In reality, they will just stop on their third density or may go elsewhere and mm -hmm. carry on their lessons. Fascinating. Um, I have a couple, just a couple of quick questions. Um, so, so who is Jillian? Jillian Stockdale. Who, uh, t tell me about her. Well, it, why is she? Why did she choose to come here? And she chose to come here for several reasons. Main reason was to be an observer. An observer to tell others of what happened on this earth. The second reason she came, which is equally as important, it was all part of the journey of Alan, of people around Alan, to help them at their time when they needed to be helped to achieve the level of awakeness where they can affect the reality like they are around them. This is the same for you as well, Debbie. With Michael? Yes. I was lots going to ask that people, next. <laughs> yes, lots of people are in our reality, from our perspective, don't seem to play a bigger part in a spiritual level, but this is wrong. Without them, we would not do what we have done. Mm -hmm. And Jilly is from the very highest realms. Very good. I was going to ask about Michael, um, if, what his purpose was here as well. Is that similar? Yes, yes, yes. Mm -hmm. Yes, all part, we are all part of this soul family. Mm -hmm. We've all agreed to come in here and play our parts. Even the ones that have come in and played their parts to spur on our growth from our perspective they may seem bad but they are played they have played their part and we would not be doing the things we are all doing without the other ones to bring on that growth mm -hmm. i've heard that the um sort of the higher level demons are no longer really here um on the planet and many of them have been removed or sent back to source or another this dimension is, is this it is true yes however they are still millions and millions of lower demons mm. however these demons can be healed if they so choose they are not past redemption we are not past reconnecting to source right it is, it is their choice they will be given opportunities to do this. If they decide not to and carry on mm -hmm. going down the same path, then ultimately they will be recycled back into source. This is some of the other work that I do with the entities and so on. And it, uh, that that is helpful to yes. 
Yeah. You do invaluable work. Well, thank you. Okay. Is there anything else that you would like to pass along today before we before we end today? Just just reiterate what I said earlier about helping uh, Gaia. She needs help on a physical level, but she does not need this help in the physical. She needs it from a spiritual perspective. As right. the work you and Alan do, concentrate now on helping Mother Earth raise her density, clear out the physical things, what are holding her down, the pollution. All this can be done. We can mm -hmm. transmute, as said before, any molecule we want. And because this work needs to be done, it will be done. That right. is all I need to say. Very good. And we certainly will, will both of us will work on that. Uh, thank you very much. Thank you. Well, I'm going to ask that our session end today and your higher self recedes back to where it normally goes. And thank you to your higher self for the love and information that you provided for us today and any healing that you have provided for us today as well. And in a moment, I'm going to count up to 10. And once I do, you're going to find yourself feeling wide awake and feeling very good and full of energy and your spirit and your soul will be revitalized. So follow me up as I count. One, two, you're becoming more alert. Three, four, moving around as you feel you, you, you want to do. Five, six, continuing to move around, your blood moving faster. Oh, I'm back. Huh. You're wide awake now. Gonna shut this wow. off. Yeah? There yeah. Hang on.